changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Really quick video I wanted to do. Uh, it was announced, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday, right around like June 6th or, or June 7th, somewhere around that date, that FedEx is no longer going to be handling Amazon's express delivery. So only their express. FedEx, like Smart Post or Home Delivery, whatever they call that, and the other delivery options will still be available, but FedEx is no longer going to be handling Amazon's Air Express delivery. It only accounts for 1.3% of their business. Now don't get me wrong, that's still a big number when you're a multi, multi-billion dollar company, but it is a small chunk they're going to cut out. Why? Well. Apparently that 1.3% wasn't very profitable for FedEx. It didn't make sense anymore. And I'm gonna go over to my computer and show you this story, but Amazon, remember, has purchased their own 747 jets, their own fleet of Mercedes vans. I think they're gonna be okay. Jeff Bezos probably saw or got the memo from FedEx and uh, put his drink down long enough to read it and then picked his drink back up. So I don't imagine he cares. Again, 1.3% of their total business is nothing. You know, if it was 10% or 15 or 20%, it might be, you know, a significant chunk of change. It's still a big number being 1.3%, but not big enough for either of them to care. Uh, business is gonna carry on as normal. So a lot of you were messaging me saying, oh my God, what does this mean? Is this bad for sellers? Are we not gonna have FedEx? Well, Everything's gonna be okay, the sellers will be all right, Amazon will be all right, FedEx isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So uh, I'll show you the story, but for all the emails and messages and everyone who asked, everything will be business as usual, nothing really will change. If you ever did FedEx Express um, shipments for Amazon, I don't even know why you would do that if somebody wanted to pay for it. There's so many other options. USPS has an option, UPS has overnight delivery. There's a ton of other options that you can make a label, print it, and upload it. So uh, don't freak out. Don't go crazy, Amazon and FedEx uh, will be just fine without each other's express delivery services. Let's go over and check out the story. So I wanted to mention this from Business Insider. This was the FedEx ditching Amazon um, story. And the US logistics industry may be on the verge of further disruption from online retailing juggernaut Amazon. Amazon has increasingly set its sight sights on the segment, which is critical for its core business, threatening the prospects of the incumbents, UPS and FedEx. In other words, Amazon doing its own delivery. FedEx uh, said on last Friday, less than a week ago, that it's severing its U.S. air package delivery contract with Amazon as the battle for e-commerce shipping heats up. The carrier will continue to deliver packages for Amazon for U.S. ground services as well as international air and ground. So only the U.S. air. No ground is changing and no international changing. So Amazon, you know, has its own shipping now called Amazon Air. So that's probably part of the reason they are not really that worried about it. Um, this strategy has driven the growth of the company's cloud computing segment, Amazon Web Services, uh, because they want to create their own shipping logistics company, their own Amazon Air company and handle it all. So they're going to need the cloud computing segment also. Um, FedEx won't be crushed by its contract. In a statement released on Friday, FedEx account said it accounts for less than 1.3% of its revenue, speaking about Amazon. Uh, still Amazon, that amounted to $200 million last year. So a lot of money, like I said, but not mind-blowing, not crushing for the company. Um, it's possible that UPS may benefit in the near term from Amazon moving some business from FedEx to UPS, but we note that FedEx gave up business for a reason, and UPS may not want to take it on for the same reason. Um so that is something to think about. There's a reason FedEx wasn't so worried about it. And UPS may end up getting the business and saying, wow, we really don't want to do this either. Let's just leave it up to Amazon to handle. Or it could end up at the USPS. There's other options for Amazon. Ultimately, I think this guy, Mr. Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, owner of Amazon, I think he wants to do it himself. And that's why he's okay with this. And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But tell me what you think in the comments. I appreciate you guys checking out the story, watching the video. Uh, make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like this video if you do enjoy these updates about eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark. And until next time, have a wonderful night, everyone. And I will see you then.